got a question right here from a oh, guy yeah. named Jean Gu. Looks like a, an Islamic. Hey, Theo, what's up? Him. It's your bud, John. What's up, Johnny? And Johnny. Johnny. Totally gay best friend. Uh, so, God. question for Bert. Um, given that Theo is in a 12 step program, and a big part of that program is acceptance and forgiveness, do you think that you would ever forgive Ari Shafir for unintentionally drugging you and giving you Molly? So, hope to hear back. Gang, gang. It's a good question. It's a very now he said he said unintentional. Yeah, that's. I think that's where we differ. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was pretty direct in his intent. Do you think he wanted to do it like, just? Do you think there's something in him that's like I got to get a rise somehow out of things, and it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's like, you, you know, uh, just his vibe of humor with the Kobe stuff. You know, like or not yeah. just Kobe, but yeah, all no. of that the, going to the edge. You know, I gotta douse my friend. I gotta do this fire. I you think. Know? I think. I think the two are separate. I think. But I, I'll say number one. I think Ari's always succeeded on those outer barriers of comedy, meaning yeah. really pushing the edge. Really finding the boundary and then and then jumping over it. Yeah. <clears throat> Case in point, the the Kobe thing, the uh, the the I'm not going to go through Ari's list of the things that. But even the picture of him naked on the stage, like he's always at the uh, you know he's yeah. always on the he's always he's on the dark side of the moon a lot of times. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think I do think there's a part. I think there's a part of Ari that thought if we do a podcast and I slip a Molly, it's going to be the most epic podcast ever. Yeah. It, and everyone will talk about it for the rest of their lives. And he, I think he, I, I think that was a part of his thought process. But I, I do think that part of his intent was, this is going to be a blast. Burr's one of my best friends. I th Molly's not going to kill him. I'm going to give him Molly. We're going to get high. We're going to laugh. We're going to hang out all night. He didn't really calculate it. Like he was like, oh, I should have checked to see if his kids were in the other room. I should have checked to see if, if he had he to a, make dinner or something. Uh, yeah. he, I, my wife was making dinner for all, both of us with, to have dinner with the girls because my girls loved Ari. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and he's like, and and he didn't check that I was flying that night. I was starting my tour that night. Wow. So there's a lot of things Ari didn't like check the boxes for. He just kind of did it, and and it was, it was. I mean, it's super regrettable because I still love Ari. And I and I'm we're still friends. We text all the time. We talk on the phone. But like, if my daughter sees me texting with Ari, she'll take my phone. Mm. She fucking ha Georgia hates Ari. Leanne hates Ari, and that's what fucking sucks. And that I'll never release the podcast because I I just don't. I know for a fact Ari thinks it's epic, but I've talked too much about it. So if you watch it, yeah. you'd know too much about my feelings about what happened. As opposed, to if I had never spoken about it and I just released it, it would have been. I mean, it would have. It would have. I think. It would probably gone off without a hitch, but I talked about it so much <clears throat> that I just I feel like it's not fair to show it's not fair to show Ari being somewhat insensitive to a friend who believes he was drugged and may die. Right? Because Ari's just he's high and he doesn't care, and I'm freaked out and I'm having a panic attack, and you can definitely see all that. And I know Ari feels differently, but will you one day put it behind a paywall? You think? No, I mean maybe maybe one day like release it as a movie. Got to. May I? May I? I mean. He's got to. I don't know. <laughs> it's I, by the way. It's not. It's so crazy. Like, if you say you heard, you were like, "Oh, there's outtakes on uh, Reservoir Dogs where they lose." Remember, there's outtakes on Lily Tomlin losing her mind on Dustin Hoffman or or someone during a movie. Mm -hmm. Tootsie, everyone, I think. And Tootie? They were, Tootsie. Yeah, something. And they were like, "Oh, I want to see that." And you, as a fan, as a fan of podcasts, as a fan, like a perfect example, right? When you and Bill Burr did a podcast and everyone was like, bro, what the fuck happened there? Mm -hmm. I went right there, excited. I watched it. I didn't see what I think everyone else saw. Like, I just saw you and Bill hanging out. It, it didn't didn't register for me the way it did for other people. Mm -hmm. But I ran right to it. I, I ran right to it. People were on Twitter, what what the fuck happened with Bill and Theo? And I was like, Bill's one of my best friends. I've known the I, Theo's one of my close friends. Like, I've known Bill for 20 years. I've known Theo for 15. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking, I'm going here. For me, it didn't like razzle dazzle me. I can see what people were talking about. I can pick up on hints of it, but like, it wasn't what I wanted to see. So I know as a fan, the idea that you'd want to watch me and Ari, me get drugged. I'm just afraid, protective of Ari, that especially with all the Kobe shit that went yeah, down, that it would just it wouldn't, wouldn't help look, anyone. Really wouldn't help anyone. Trust me, man. Had I released it and that Kobe shit gone viral, people would have grabbed that and it would have. Here he I is drugging a, a white guy. I mean, dude, I'll tell you right now, when it happened, Dr. Drew said, you know, just so you know, 
you, by you telling me this, I have to call the police. And I went, wow. Then I made it up. Then I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. So if I put it out there, it would have been, I think it would have been a bad I, I Ari disagrees 100%. But wow. So Ari says put it out. Ari wants it out so bad. Wow. Maybe I'll sell it to him one day. There you go. Yeah. Now we're talking. If he makes it big, which on the rate he's at. He's, he's just, big, man. He's, he's just fucking <laughs> he's sabotaging popular. himself left and fucking right. He's the guy that killed Kobe Bryant pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You know? And a lot of, yeah, and a lot of poorly written articles, you know? Here's yeah. the guy, and, and look at this. The guy was flying the helicopters, picture of Ari sometimes. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's bad. Like, bro, things get mixed up out there. It's a mashup. Yeah. You know, it's a dark art. He's man. so talented, man. And I think that when he does film the special called Jew, I think it's called Because he's a Jewish supremacist. He's a Jewish supremacist, yeah. 100%. When he films this special, I think it's going to be huge. And I think people, I think it'll really, I think people will see the, the artist as opposed to like the, the comic that we've all known. Right. The sensitive, sweet, fucking hilarious Ari Shapir as opposed to bloody ass rag. By the way, that's still part of his personality. Doug Stanhope will piss on you, and he's one of the most genius comics in the world. Yeah, it's like you can be both people. Yeah, I get you can naked. be two things. You can be three things. You can be four things. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know. We didn't. I, I like. I remember asking if he wanted to talk about it one day on the podcast, and uh, just through texting, and then I never heard back from him about it. But yeah, it's interesting because if I if I, I here's what here's what you should do if you ta talk to him. Make him talk honestly, right? Because this here's what here's what is frustrating to me is that the con not it's not even frustrating. Uh, it's not even frustrating at all. But like the part of Ari that apologized and the part that I talked to on the phone at the end of the month when we hadn't spoken for a month and he had texted me every single day going like. I want to talk to you. I can't have this happen. I can't lose you as a friend. Like that guy, right. that guy talking about it and talking about his experience through that way is so fucking fascinating. The part of him where it's where he shuts off and deflects and goes, what? It was a joke. Right. Fuck it. You know, that for me, I'm not super fascinated by. But man, I know the I know the man very fucking well. Yeah. And the sensitive side, I would love to hear his perspective of it. From a more human space and from not a from human a space because it's funny still. Yeah. Like his, like his, me and him talking. The first time we talked, I was driving to a Planet Fitness in an Uber, and me and him talked. I can see that. And we were just <laughs> back and forth, get, kind of having our first conversation in a month, but giggling and kind of like, like, yeah, that was a fuck. Dude. Like I'd say something like, and then instead of going like deflective, he was fucking. But you know what? That's me asking him to do comedy, and that's offensive right. for me to go. Hey, this is how you should talk about it. My point is, I would love that side of Ari. I would love to hear on a podcast, right? You right. Know? Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's such a. He's definitely a sweet, nice dude. He's the I think he just has spot. this wild character about. that is. Bro, he is God. There's this outlaw. He's like the Jesse James kind of like thing. He's and like you can't you can't change that. And no, it's that's always going to be there. That's his whole thing, and that's a real thing. It's like, not. Yeah, it's real. He shit on Bobby Lee's car. Yeah. He beat up Bobby Lee four times. There's a part of Ari that's a fucking legit wild card. I Let me tell you Dude, something. How do you beat up Bobby Lee three times and then go back and beat him up one more time, though? I don't know. I, I mean, it seems God. like it was an easy fight. Yeah, no shit, dude. Just a lot of uppercuts. Oh, dude. Or lower cuts. Any cuts, dude. You could easily. <laughs> any, any cuts you could use on Bobby. <laughs> dude, definitely, man. Yeah, Bobby fucking Lee. Bam, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee's so cool. He oh, really he's is. He's one of He's def unbelievably Good evening, one of good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!